Hello, Lama. How are you today? Uh, I'm good, Miss Letty. How about you? I'm fine. I have been swimming this morning in the cold water. So okay. now I'm here with you. Uh, and we are going to answer a few questions. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, Miss Letty. Right. So we're going to tell some people about <clears throat> you. Okay. So the first question. Can you tell us a little bit about you? Okay. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Konpo Lama and I am from India and I'm living in Nepal. And my name is uh, Gonpo Lama. It's a Buddhist name. And uh, people are calling me Lama. Thank you. So they call you Lama because they find yes. it easier. And yeah. you said you are from India, from the north or from the south? Uh, it, it's North India. <clears throat> north so you India. are originally, you are originally from the north of India and you went from yes. India to Nepal. Uh, now, now I am living in Nepal, a Kathmandu, yeah. Kathmandu, my Kathmandu. favorite city. The way, I love the way it sounds, Kathmandu. <laughs> right. And how long have you been living in Kathmandu? Um, uh, I think uh, 14 years ago. So you have I... been living in Kathmandu for 14 years. Yes, I have been living uh, in, in Kathmandu. Kathmandu in Kathmandu 14 years ago no for 14 years for 14 years ago okay no I go you don't need the ago right so you have been okay. living in Kathmandu for 14 years and you okay. are a Buddhist monk and you're a yes. student Buddhist monk you have your teacher and you help uh, your teacher at home so the next question yes. Why did you start to learn English? Uh, because English is necessary uh, for business, when we go to uh, our country, and when we go another place, uh, we don't understand their language, and someone's they know English, and they, uh, they, uh, they talk, uh, to English and uh, and sometimes we go to like a hospital and sign is English and Nepali and uh, I think English is easy for we uh, to know and sometimes we go to bank and sometimes we go to another place anything yeah it's necessary right so you think it's very useful to yes. know English because yes. of different reasons. One, if you travel abroad, abroad is to go to another country. Yes. To speak to other people who don't know your language. Or yeah. even in Nepal, if you go to the hospital, the signs are in English and in Nepal. So it's very useful to know this yes. language. Yes. How long have you been learning English for? Uh, uh, I think uh, when I child, like uh, five years, I started uh, like learning like alphabet, uh, grammar, it's a little. And now um, I, I think, uh, uh, I, many years ago, but uh, uh, I never uh, spoke. Yeah. yeah. So there's like two parts. For five yeah. years, you learned grammar, reading, the letters, alphabet, etc., but never yeah. spoke. And then the other part is when you decided to try to speak.
uh, when I uh, practice, I think uh, uh, I practice after many years after, I think 2019, many yeah. years. So uh, like you did I, a lot of theory, but you didn't feel confident to speak. So can you remember the first time you spoke? Yes, I remember uh, when I uh, 12 years, I, I practice like uh, to raise people, just try to speak. Uh, uh, they are asking to direction. Uh, we just, we don't know English too much, but we try to uh, try to, to yeah, explain. Try, explain, yes. Right, so some people ask you some questions and with the little English that you know, you have tried to help them. Yes. How do you feel now when you are speaking to somebody in English? Uh, uh, how to feel? It's feel very difficult to uh, offline. It's online, it's uh, easy. We can talk anything. <laughs> When we talk offline, they don't understand. <laughs> and like uh, uh, my friends and just, uh, they don't understand English people. Uh, they understand my English. When we talk uh, like uh, to uh, English people, like uh, foreigner people and other people, they don't understand we are, uh, we are speaking uh, English, yeah. But you understand me. Yeah, I understand you, yeah. You understand because you all time listening to my voice, my act. That's why you understand what I'm saying. When I talk to another foreign people, like our country, they don't understand because... Uh, right, I think, uh, as you said... Accent, maybe your accent when asian people yes. speak english if they speak very quickly the accent gets yes. very confusing yes. so if you speak slowly and clearly i think it's easier also the person yes. needs to be patient for example you see me i'm sitting here listening you no know? and then if i'm not sure or i haven't quite understood mm -hmm. i will ask another question uh, to make sure I understand you. And as you said, mm -hmm. I'm used to you now because I have heard your voice uh, many times. Yes. But you understand me. So that's a good thing, no? So you yes, are I, getting better. Yes, I understand because I all the time to listen to your voice and you, uh, you also, I watch it, your videos. Uh, in YouTube or on YouTube? I don't know how to say. Uh, on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube, listening. And yeah, that's why I think. <laughs> so you get used to the way I speak. Yeah. So it makes it easy. I know it's complicated, but yeah. I know you are trying. Do yeah. you practice every day? Uh, yes, I practice every day. Uh, I listening uh, all time. Uh, I never stop to listening to English. I all time to listening uh, to conversation, and I don't listening to uh, English song because it's too uh, it's too feel boring difficult. because difficult and boring because I don't understand to when they are sing a song, <laughs> and I like to. Uh, both conversation to people yeah like this and i listening all the time so you listen every day to different things because i know i send you online stories for children you yes, like to yes. listen to that yeah or conversation that's very good i know you read stories because you like stories but you don't really like songs because you don't understand the lyrics the lyrics yeah. are the words to the song. Also, yeah. the meaning of a song is very complex. So I think it's frustrating. So you're doing a lot of listening. You write sometimes and you correct your writing. 
you read. So now you want to speak a little bit more. Yes? Yes. And yes. what is your main goal for this year? Um, my main goal for this year uh, speak uh, like uh, English uh, speaking. Uh, uh, speaking like a lots of uh, more than more practice to offline. And, right. Uh, so offline, you want to speak more and feel more, more confident. More, yeah. Yes. Like uh, offline. I all time to practice to offline because I all time and to talk uh, online when i talk offline it's never uh, come out in english yeah so do you understand me for example now on this video yes. or when yes. we send audios uh, i think now is easy because you when you talking slowly and uh, sometimes you uh, this message sometimes it's uh, like a quickly how to say speed and like the conversation you, yeah right conversation right now you're speaking slowly yeah i understand yeah my goal i is, think also yeah. uh the face helps you understand mm. so if i'm speaking to you or somebody else i'm watching the face yes and depending and you on your expression yes. i understand a little bit more yeah I think uh, it's easy for like uh, now, online, like a uh, face to face. So body language is, well, you don't use your hands. I use my hands. So body <laughs> language is the hands, the face, the expression, yeah. and also uh, what we are saying. So yeah, and Lama, it's easy. thank you for coming and sharing uh, your thoughts and introducing yourself to everybody here okay thank you so much miss Letty. and let's hope that this year you are able okay. to speak a little bit more and feel more okay. confident thank you you're um, welcome thank you